All right, it is time to break the curse of the black dogs that we have had here in our laboratory. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Sims 4 Random Pets Genetics Challenge where we are now going to be calling upon all of the randomness that we have bred through so many generations of our dogs and cats in the hopes that we will finally break the chain and be able to have some really, really interesting new puppers, especially dogs that happen to have a you know, some of the wings, the beaks, <laughs> all of the other really amazing traits that we have seen so far that uh, haven't really made their way into our family tree, but have been added into our custom content for quite some time now. So let us begin, firstly, by coming over to Teal Nova, our current lab assistant, and thanking her for her time and promising her retirement oh, next man. time. So we are going to be needing a new lab assistant next time, so be sure to leave your names in the comment section. I have a fantastic random generator oh. that goes through and randomizes all of the comments, so you have as equal a chance as everyone else of being chosen for being a lab assistant or a, a, a dog or a cat or other miscellaneous oh. creatures that somehow we're cooking up in here in all of our episodes, which is really fun. So Teal, thank you. You start plotting your retirement and hopefully don't steal too much with your little kleptomaniac sticky fingers from the lab, please. And let's begin by making a brand new dog. So we are going to be making a large breed dog, actually. So nope, 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 not this kind. But it's going to be a large breed dog because I rolled a dice uh, to see if it would be a big dog, small dog. It will be a big dog this time. And it is going to be the sixth big dog that we come across who will become the new canine experiment 68 already. I can't believe we're already that far up. But canine experiment 68 here in the laboratory. So let us begin. Dog number one. <gasps> it's a dog fox. I have to keep it. I have to keep it. Okay, this is gonna be Acorn. And this is named after It's Black's comment uh, requesting a dog named Acorn. This is Acorn. We're not gonna keep Acorn uh, like in the family line, but I just have to have that dog. Look at this. Acorn! I mean, honestly, it's not just the air that is so exciting about these random pet genetics challenges. It's also all of the spares that show up in the family lineage, too. Like a... a... what, what even are you? Like a fox hound, basically. Well, not a fox a hound, the breed. Like a fox and hound had a baby, and this is what it looks like, and it's amazing. Uh, let's see. All right, let's go ahead. Back to adding in new dogs. That was just dog number one, too. All right, I need to make sure it's going to be big dog breeds. There we go. This would be a dog number two mixed breed. Uh, let me make sure I pull up a new name so we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, and then uh, where's my breeds? There it is. So this is dog number two out of six. Three, four. <laughs> this is why I love the canines. <laughs> oh, horse tail and everything. Oh, bless you, you beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, Okay, uh, where was that like three, four, five, six? Why, hello. Your eyes look awful familiar, my dear. And this is going to be Toby. So Toby, welcome from Toby or not to be, which is really a hilariously awesome uh, username, by the way. But this is going to be Toby. We have had a few Tobys before, but that's just fine. Experiment number 068, who will now be joining our canine family tree. We have the friendly trait, the hairy trait, and the loyal trait on this puppers. And we are now going to be changing almost everything about this dog. So we're gonna begin with the body. We're gonna randomize it seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, a little bit more bulk going on there. And now we are gonna be randomizing the head. And this is gonna be a little interesting because we have decided to start using a dice to see if we will randomize the head shape or not. Uh, because we often get unique muzzles, but we have not had flat face dogs for so long. I feel it's unfair. So I'm randomizing. And we are not going to be changing the head shape. It was a odd number. All right. Now we are going to randomize the ears once. Okay. Just slightly smaller. Toby knows how Toby wants to look. Thank you very much. The uh, nose seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
Very nice, Toby. Oh my goodness. Those eyes are going to be randomized. Let's see, 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. All right, okay, a little bit more startled, but I, I like where we're going here. I really love the slope. That is a beautiful nose slope. Oh my gosh, I never thought I'd say that about a dog, but here we are. All right, now we're gonna be changing the tail. Now we do have custom content to include a horse tail and a cow tail, as well as twirly tail and bob tail. So let's see what we get 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we get twirly tail. Well, it's been a while since we've had twirly tail, so that makes me really happy. All right, and then we're gonna randomize 12 times on the coat pattern, and I have to say, not like, extreme neon colors on this dog but really beautiful in fact you know what toby you are so beautiful i'm going to go ahead and save you as experiment number 49.5 before we start changing everything about you because this is a dramatically gorgeous dog already i really like him uh all right and where are we 12 times one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve all right, Rottweiler pattern that we are going to be altering now. Eight times on the, the uh, I guess you could call it the base coat. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then once on the top coat. Oh! <clears throat> Toby! Hi! Hi, boy! Giant purple people eater, are we? Uh, that's just fine, that's really cute. Okay, now we're gonna change the fur twice. One, two. <laughs> Somehow we ended up with the schnauzer, ishi, mishi, mashi yet again. But we now have everything from twiddly do horns all the way down to beaks, wings, literal unicorn horns available for our dog. So let's see what's it going to be. We are going to randomize the pet clothing five times. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and the answer is all Toby wanted was white hooves. That's literally all he wanted was just white hooves so that he can tap dance. So we have tap dance and Toby. That's adorable. I, I'll take it. I'll take it. Still no wings. I was really looking forward to having some wings on some dogs, but I guess we're just going to have to wait till the next time. That's all right. All right, and we need to make a little bit of room. So we're actually going to send out Cinder. And we're also going to send out Vivanzi so that we have a teensy bit more room and Flint and we're going to leave behind the three-tailed cat Olivia to inherit the feline side of our experiments when the time comes to do so. For now, we are going to go ahead and have Toby and Azaka have eight babies and see what the results are. So we'll begin with Azaka and Toby. A very normal looking dog, all, all intended. But you know what? I don't think you can really try harder than becoming neon purple to get away from the gray and the black coats that we have been stuck on for our dogs for so long. Uh, sort of. I mean, I'll take a Rottweiler coat. That definitely counts. This is one out of eight children that we are going to have. Let's see. Let's see. And then we're going to have two. <gasps> okay, that's really cute, actually. Three. Four, five, six, oh my gosh, seven, eight. <laughs> no! Hello, Nova. Hello, dear Nova. And she is here. Does she have it? She has nothing to inherit from her mother. I mean, hooves, I guess. Yes, if we have small hooves, she at least inherited hooves from her father. I think I have small hooves. Uh, let's go ahead and come down here and see. Uh, let's see. Are these small hooves? I think these are small hooves. They're not this... Well, they, they look pretty darn similar, don't they? Uh, we'll go ahead and just let her have them. We will let her have them. We're more goat than dog by this point. But welcome to Nova. Canine experiment 069. Uh, not 607. Oh my gosh, no. We're only going to the hundreds, okay guys? But she's here. 
All right, that's fine. She's loyal. I really appreciate that. She's smart and she's adventurous. So you know what? She is honestly more goat than dog and she has carried on the fact that we do not have a lot of color in our canine experiments right now, but I'll take it. I'll take it. She's still pretty darn cute. And now we get to see what kind of puppies Acorn would have. So Acorn, if you have a ridiculously, oh, oh my gosh. gonna grow up into quite the dog but this is going to be sarah after guinea mines so sarah welcome your father acorn is so adorable playful let's do playful let's do friendly and let's do couch potato because this is one of the cutest puppies i have ever ever set my eyes on look at those eyes this is this is one of those like you just would feed them the age down treat 24 7 because she's gonna grow up into quite the interesting interesting dog uh but honestly i mean what if you shaved her like what if you changed her fur would that really oh wow i mean okay if you really like oh my gosh oh my gosh it's just a fur job. You just change the fur, like take them to the groomers, change the fur. Wow, Sarah. Okay, Acorn, you have amazing babies. Let's do that again. Like, come on, give me another good one. I would really love to see another good one. Unknown parent. Don't know how I feel about this one. What if you had puppies with Izaka? It would look just like Izaka, imagine that, with Toby. Somehow still just like Azaka. Uh, with Azaka's baby. It's somehow a Pomeranian that looks like Azaka. Oh my gosh. Let's go back to the random parents. Uh, all right. Let's see. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. Uh, oh my goodness. Everybody's so fluffy. Everybody's fluffy. And then suddenly just an albino puppy. That feels like playing niche all of a sudden. Uh, still fluffy. Still fluffy. Still fluffy. Quite fluffy. Quite fluffy. Still fluffy. Okay, so I honestly think that it's just like a matter of changing the fur density. And once you do that, then you really end up with some very unique coat patterns. And it looks like if you only have, like Acorn is only pulling uh, Acorn's fur types. But what if we had Acorn have a puppy? Acorn, are you part Chow Chow? With, what if Acorn had a puppy? Can I just use a random one? Yeah, random breed with a Greyhound. <laughs> <laughs> that this is what it would look like if you had a greyhound and acorn have a puppy, which is actually pretty cool. I actually don't mind that a lot. Oh! Hi! You look like you mind it a little bit, but you're really adorable. <laughs> um, this is actually gonna be, this is gonna be, uh, let's see, Cody, which is another one of the names suggested. But this is just gonna be Cody, just because he is unique and that is what we are going for here in this challenge and I, I really love him. I love him, look at him, look at him. I have not really seen a face that unique in a long time in our challenge, so I'm quite happy to have him here with us, to be completely honest. So, all right, that actually covers all of our puppers. In fact, Izaki, I'm gonna actually retire you a little bit early, because I'm really curious at Cody, like Cody, if you had a puppy with an unknown parent. <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, Cody is where the breeding is at. If you want to have some really interesting mixes uh, and you just don't even know what you want them to look like, Cody is pretty awesome. If you just select like, oh, a Dalmatian, Cody and a Dalmatian. Oh, then you get, oh, then you really get the Greyhound just coming out nice and plain. You don't really lose it in all of the fur. Like it just, oh, hello, hi. Wow, you're pretty cool. I mean, definitely a creature of note. Definitely a creature of note. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll stop now. I just, I just, <laughs> oh, 
I just have too much fun with that. But all right, guys. So next time, Teal is actually going to be retired, which means that one of you will need to take up the mantle place of being the lab assistant, helping us out here in the laboratory. I hope you all are very eager for the job of having me paw at your face uncomfortably for a little bit there. And uh, hopefully... I'm really excited to see Sarah, to be completely honest. She is one of the most beautiful dogs we have accidentally bred in this lab. And maybe Nova, our tap dancing goat dog, will be able to, to break her, her curse. And maybe dog number 70 is where it's at. But we'll roll a dice properly next time between our three-tailed cats and our tap dancing goat dogs. And we're getting closer and closer to completing our random pet genetics challenge. So we'll have to see where it goes. But all right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.